Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about one more increment and decrement type that is BCD increment and BCD decrement. So, what is the difference between the previous increment instruction that we have seen in the previous session and now this session? So, it will be depends upon the range. Okay. In the previous session, if you have seen, when you are giving the continuous signal, there was a limit of 64,000, nearby 64,000 was the range. Okay. But here the range is very less, that is 999. So, 999 till that only it can able to increment. After that, again it will start from 0. That is the difference between that increment and BCD increment. So, I will show you in the program. I will take both for your uh, you know comparison. First, I will explain this. Later, we will take the normal uh, increment, okay, binary increment. So, I will give BCD increment instruction is plus plus B and you have to give some address. I will give about 200. Alright. And this should be a pulse, correct. For every pulse, it will increment one value. So, I will make this to up and I will take one more as a continuous pulse for the same instruction but with a different address plus plus B and I will give 300. No, yeah, let us give it as a 300. Yes, we cannot give because it will be in this range. So, what I will do, I will change to P400, yeah, it will be in this range. So, you cannot make use of this 200 again 300, no? in between 100 is the difference. But whenever you are incrementing, the word address will be 200, 201, 202, like that it will go. So, let us turn on the simulation. So, I will give some value here. I will give 2 here and I will give same 2 here. Both are different address, okay. First, I will turn on this, it is one incremented and I am going to turn on this, it will continuously run, okay. Again, it will start from 0. So, the value, the highest value is 999. But whereas in the binary increment, we had a huge range, 64,000, okay. Since it is a BCD increment, we have a less range, that is 999. So, this is for every increment, it will increment the by 1, increment by 1, but here it is continuous because the signal is continuous. If you turn off, it will stop where it is currently running. Look at that. That is it, 2, 3, 9, 5. If you change this to, we will change this to pulse. Now, see it will be 1 by 1. Okay. Now, see if I increment 1, 2, 3, 9, 5, it was now 9, 6. So, like this it will be working. So, I will take, let us make this to none. I will add one more instruction for normal, uh, you know, binary increment. So that you can see the difference. I have a same input. Run condition for that I am using same. So this is normal. So this is binary. So go for the simulation. Both I am going to turn on at the same time. So, let us make this is also 0. So, this is 0, this is 0. I am turning on. See? 
it's going back to zero, but it it is reaching sixteen four thousand. After that only it will come to zero. That's the difference between BCD increment and binary increment. Okay. So it started again. All right. So same like that we have BCD decrement also. So what this BCD decrement will do? We'll see that. So BCD decrement will be. Minus B, okay, D nine hundred. So let's see this. There is an error in this. So let's try to change the address. Let's go for online. Okay. So this is nine thousand, right? So the limit is nine thousand for this, and nine thousand and nine hundred and ninety-nine, and here also it is nine thousand and nine hundred ninety-nine. For both increment and decrement, the BCD uh, higher limit is triple nine nine only. So this is incrementing and turning on. So it is incrementing from zero towards that. Yeah. Again, it's starting. Okay. It's very fast. If you give here. You can see the difference. It will reduce from nine hundred, nine thousand, and I mean the higher limit to lower limit. It will come, but here it will start from zero in a positive way, increment way. This is decrementing. That's the difference between BCD increment and BCD decrement. If you want to uh, decrement one by one, you can give the pulse. That also we will give. So I'll make this to pulse. So I'll give one pulse. One value got reduced. See, like that you can decrement the BCD value, and the limit is triple nine nine. Okay, so this is how BCD increment and decrement instruction will be working. I hope you have understand this concept. Kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates and videos. I'll meet you in the next session. Thank you.